Oh, hello, and welcome back. Right, I picked up one of these very cheap, low wattage induction heaters. Now, if you don't know what an induction heater is, well, you're in for a bit of a treat. Now, I bought mine from Banggood, paid just over eight pounds, but I've since noticed they're available on eBay for incredibly just over five pounds delivered. Three weeks later, it arrived directly from China. No box or any instructions in this case, just a pile of bubble wrap. And uh, but well, for this sort of money, you can't complain, assuming that it works, of course. Now, there is a little bit of soldering required, a little bit of construction, and nothing major. Just need to uh, solder the induction coil onto the chassis of the board. Once you perform this simple task, well, you're ready to go. Now, of course, you're going to need a 12 volt power supply, and I'll just be checking the amperage here for you. It started at 3.2, but then settled down to 2.4 amps. So now I was ready for the moment of truth, so I straightened out a paper clip, slid it into the coil, no, not touching the coil in any way, and look at that, look, it instantly glowed red hot. <laughs> I was so impressed with this little toy. Absolutely incredible. 120 watts of induction power for five quid. I mean, it's quite, it's quite astonishing. So I thought at this stage, well, maybe I'll uh, move on to something slightly thicker because it seems to do the uh, paperclip really, really well. So I found another piece of metal. It's certainly thicker than the paperclip, and I straightened that out and then gave it a go and just sort of wondered how it was going to get on. And once again, as soon as the metal went to inside of the coil, a puff of smoke and it began to glow red hot. It's just so impressive. And of course, it's only heating the metal. Nothing else around the metal is getting particularly hot. So it's a very safe way of heating up metal without using a flame. So overall incredibly impressed for something that costs just five pounds and the good news is you can get more powerful models for not a lot more money on ebay anyway hope you enjoyed this video as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you all on the next one